what's going on guys? I am here. Welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you guys a serial communication. How to do it. Tutorial on, well, tutorial on how to do it. Uh, explanation of how it works and a little showcase of a small thing here. So, starting off with the showcase, we are going to choose a couple of random uh, binary numbers. We'll do 128 and 4, so that's 134. Two, we'll do 133 right there in binary. So it's 133. We're gonna type that in there, send it, and obviously 133. So you might be wondering how does this work? Well, since we're only sending it, well, we are only sending it through one wire. You can see here. I'm just gonna resend it. It all gets sent through here. Now you might be wondering how does this work? Well, I'm about to explain that to you. So, um, basically, inside of the encoder here, first we have one bit that's always going to be sent to just turn it on, which is going to tell this machine to start listening for bits, okay? And then, yeah, that's that pretty much. Then what happens is it sends all the bits, right? And then it just closes up. So, here's what happens. We type in our bits, right? However many random numbers we want to type in here. And that all gets put next to these comparators, behind these comparators, right? And because they're being powered, they won't allow the signal to pass through. But when we unpower them by deactivating this torch with a little pulse, it's going to allow all the signals to pass through. So we have two uh, tick delay between all the signals passing through. And then basically what's going to happen is it's going to send um, it's going to send a little opening bit there. And then it's going to send uh, one, right? And then it's going to send nothing. One, nothing, one, one, nothing, one. Okay? So when we send this here, it's going to see, you can see it's going to blink, and it's all going to come through here, and then lock up and send our bits. Now, that's the encoder. Then, let me explain the decoder for you guys. So, I'm just going to reset it. And it's not resetting now. So, um, the way this is going to work is we have, well, here. Let's just grab some quartz and some redstone blocks. So, I want you to think of it this way. Um, when qu what quartz equals zero and redstone equals one, okay? So let's just be simple, and let's imagine that we're sending the number, uh, let's just imagine that we're sending a four-bit number, okay? So it's going to be three, okay? It's gonna be zero, zero, one, one, okay? So, um, first, it's going to be uh, well, no, it's going to have to be one first. As I said, we always need that opening bit. So the opening bit's going to come here, right, on the first tick. Then, so that's one. And then it's going to do uh, the first zero. And then the second zero. And then the third zero. Or no, no and then the first one, sorry. And then, it, as you can see, it's basically going to keep, like, flowing in through here until everything is here. Then, this is going to gradually move its way through these. Move one, you can see. It's going to start moving its way through. Oh, what the heck? Oops. Move two. There you go. Move to W. You can see it's going to start moving its way all the data is going to start moving its way through here. Oh, need to actually reset this. Oops. All the data is going to start moving its way through here until it gets to this point. Boom, right? And then it's in these repeaters. Then this one is going to shift out and activate this, right? Which is going to send a signal to all these locking them. So it's going to lock these repeaters. So this repeater will be locked in its on position. This will be locked on. This will be locked off. This will be locked off. And that is how it works. So yay. 
Now, I'm um, just going to show a little another demonstration here. It all flows in and then locks up, you can see. So now, let's actually build one of these. Uh, we'll just start with an encoder and then work our way to the decoder. So for the encoder, you want to start by doing a few things. First, you want to get the following resources. Uh, redstone Dust, Redstone Repeater, Redstone Comparator. You want to get yourself some uh, blue wool here, some levers, and finally, uh, a piston should do. So, let's start off now by building the first part here. We're going to build it like this. Uh, we're doing a... Th we'll do a 3-bit... Th we'll do a 3-bit one right now, just for now. So, we're going to have this like this. We're going to put comparator here. Redstone repeater. Blue wool. Comparator. Redstone repeater. Blue wool. And repeat this process. Yes, we're only doing three bits, but I want you to repeat this process uh, four, four times, so twice more, until we have this that looks something like this, and there you go. You want to do it like this. Then you want to, um, either you can put a redstone torch, you're probably going to need one of those as well, but you can put a redstone torch there, because this one is going to need to be always activated no matter what. Then you want to do like this. Put blocks on top of it. Well, you don't need a block there. Then put redstone dust on each one of those. Put a redstone repeater in front of each one of these uh, holes. Put wool there. And then back here, you can put some wool as well. And wire this up. Then you want to set all these repeaters to that many delays. Like so. And finally, you want to invert this right here, so it's always activated. Then you can bring out these here, like so, and this is your output. Now, we're not quite finished. We're still going to need to put our monostable circuit here. So place like this, like this, like this, there, and here, and you may as well grab a button while you're at it. So there you go, and that is done. So now you can just wire up your redstone here, put in whatever bits you want, whatever data you want. So you're gonna make sure that the first one is activated at all times, that's just policy pretty much. So if you want to, you can go around clearing out all those unnecessary blocks that just get in your way all the time, like that. And uh, yeah, now, we are uh, ready to test it. So we're gonna type in one, uh, type in one zero one, and you should see the line blink. Yeah, blink there. Now you can put a redstone repeater here. Now we're gonna make the decoder, okay? So you can make a little line like this, and now we're gonna make the decoder. So we're gonna go over here. We're gonna start out by making uh, one redstone repeater on one tick, two, two repeaters, three repeaters, and you want to do four repeaters. Uh, no, actually, sorry, just do three repeaters. Never mind. You're only going to need three. So we have our three repeaters here, right? Then you want to bring, uh, it'll bring it around like this, and then put repeaters here and here, and then you want to put a repeater here, bring this around, put a repeater here, like so that on two delays and um here you are you're done so you can just put a little reset thing here if you want to be able to reset it so you'll be able to reset everything like that and you can just put this on a button so uh there you go you're done so what's gonna happen is everything is going to flow in here and then it's gonna lock up and just like that you might need to play with the delays but I don't think so. So you can see here, we'll take all of our outputs here. And we get the outputs like that. We'll try one more number as well. Just to, you know, testing. So we'll do like one, two there. We'll do like that. Start that. And we'll send it off. And it works like a beast. So that is how you create serial communication. So to make this longer, just add more of these. 
and just add more of these to make this longer. It's the same thing. But, uh, yeah, as you can see, it works just fine. So, thank you for watching this video. Of course, drop a like, subscribe to my channel, leave a comment, and, uh, yeah. As always, I'm IO, and I'll see you all later.